to. It's always. Just send an email. I remember when we did this last year for the Ultimate Magic Tour. Yeah. Which I think we need to fly in a day early for that this year. I agree. So and we can actually put something together for it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Oh, dude, it's great. Are you kidding? So, hey, attack. Another uh, DJ Z mashup right here. Uh, Zach, who just left. Yeah. Uh, this is this yeah, is stuff he does. Right. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> all right. I don't know if it sends out an email automatically or not. So maybe I'll. Uh, maybe I'll. Well, well, you're you're in this one too. Here, we can, I guess we'll just put one that just on here. Put in the fund, the collective fund. No, I'm serious about that. Hell, I, I agree. Uh, let's How's do this. this video editing? Great, great. All right, let's do here. I will. Watch what'll happen here is uh, I just tweeted Justin. There we go. Hey, hey, now they're talking. Oh, hello. Or Bubba, the first of the many. Here we go. So what did you just do? I just tweeted at Justin R. Young. And anyone who follows both me and Justin, which are going to be the fans of the show, right. saw me essentially say that we're live now. Cool. We but I did it in a passive-aggressive way. So now we should have everybody coming in to come join us. And there goes. Which camera am I? Your camera too. Uh, sure. Here, we got this one. We got the three shot of all three of us. Yeah. We got a solo on Eric Diddleman. Yeah. That's right. And then my solo over here. Isn't that amazing, man? Yeah. <laughs> Makes me so happy. All right, here we go. We'll tell everyone about this in just a second. We'll let, we'll let everyone get settled. Everyone find your seats here. We should also, uh, should also go ahead and see how many folks are watching us right now. So I got to tell you guys, uh, remind me to tell you guys about our next level prank. The successor to Diamond Club. Did you say the Clavicle Club? 
said the platter. <laughs> I the Cloaca Club. <laughs> uh, if you want to, uh, you guys can tweet out that we're live at uh, justin.tv slash scanschoolbrian. So we'll do that. What? 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 I'll go ahead and I'll put... Dude, I'm in love with this mix. Yeah, justin.tv slash Scam School Brian. Who are these fellas? Well, Meeks Mix Media. You, uh... Yeah, you're about to find out. Alright, here we go. The BB Love Show. I'm totally okay with the BB Love Show. That's that's my new that's my new game. That's my new jam. There we go. All right, Chris Chris Ronan's in here. It's officially a party. Let me see how many folks we got. This is uh, this is a time. I think this is a time. Maybe the first time I've ever done a Thursday midday daytime attack. Wouldn't it be funny if this is your biggest attendance ever? I would be so okay with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're on and what you're not on. Listen to the music. Going live Listen now. There we go. You I'll, I'll, re- I'll retweet you. <laughs> I'm going to retweet both of you. Uh, oh, there you are. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Follow you. Sweet. There we are. Look, follow me. I think I did. Yeah, I'll follow you. Wow. That's a great one. Yeah, not for long. I gotta figure out what the replacement for TweetDeck is gonna be. Because they're shutting down the uh, the desktop application. Because they're assholes. Because because it got bought by Twitter, basically. So Twitter, uh, yeah, yeah, and which is why you you know we'll never get Google Plus support on TweetDeck. It's uh it's a real boner, man. Janetter, you guys are saying Janetter? Don't try to Janetta Janetter, man. Somebody throw me a link. Oh my God, Padre SJ is in the audience. Uh, dude. All right, let's take a moment right now and check out Did what Padre is doing this morning. Yes, it's amazing. That was amazing. It's okay. Awesome. Let's uh, let's take just a moment if we can. And here we go. Let's take a look. By the way, Padre SJ, I'm going to open up uh, NSFW show line one if you want to call in. Uh, you guys shut your face. I'm going to open up NSFW show on Skype. Oh yeah, T2T2 is in Estonia, so this is a full-on honest to goodness night attack for him. So that's awesome. Yeah, you're huge. What was it? Uh, was <laughs> Eastern Europe. Eastern yeah. Europe, you're huge. But what was the country in particular? I don't know. Were it was like, about like, it? like uh, somebody was calling from Croatia or something. Nice. Yeah, yeah. I like it's it. crazy. Yeah, you're huge in Croatia. All right, real quick. So uh, I like. The, the, the well, it was always like it was always like a, like a thirteen year old kid too, but right? Because it, like, it was a high boy. It was, it was a prepubescent thirteen year old. Let's, yes, what well, well, because make that clear. we we did that live thing. We did it um, during I was in a hotel room in Denver, and I was just like, you know, like I, I hey. did a scam school live. I did it. Uh, uh, oh, you know what? Here, here's what I can do. I just had an idea. Wait, yes. All right, let me split this. We'll take this and we'll move this. To this, and we'll do split vertical, so it's like this. There you go. Like Wait, there's me on one yeah. side, uh, and then <laughs> there'll be me. The on way the your other. mics are cutting off the day, it looks like it's a gay <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> That's I'm okay fine. with that. That's all right. <laughs> oh, That's this didn't work out nearly as love well. Show. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> bacon root beer. Uh, okay, so I get. Damn it! I guess that won't work. Um, That's a lot of you. <laughs> It is. Oh wait, what if I did this That's, and then I did right. this? But then there's very little of me. I could be like, over. Hey guys. 
How are you? All right, we'll see about that. It looks like you're in two different locations, then. It's kind of cool. Uh, you know what? Screw it. We'll just do the yeah, wide shot right. here. And we'll Let's get everyone here. Shot. So here's what happened is uh, uh, I don't know what bet Padre SJ made, but he got uh, asked to speak on Fox News about the new Pope. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really? So, yeah, yeah. And Padre SJ is legitimately one of the coolest guys on planet Earth. He's one of my favorite people who exists. And, uh, and uh, look, first of all, look at what a baller he looks like when they toss to him. Jesuit father Robert Balliser is the director of the National Vocation Promotion. He joins us in studio now to really talk about. Yeah. What is he really a priest? <laughs> Hold on. I just want you to see Wait, that. Can we, can I, can like he's like, there? this is him saying like, I like a boss. Jesuit father Here you go, watch Robert like, Balliser is the director of the National Vocation Promotion. Oh, he joins us in studio now to talk about yeah. what this means for the Society of Jesus or Jesuit. Because I'm learning. That's I'm all learning all of this. So, okay. So here's well. the thing. They are. Oh, well, Welcome to the studios. Thank you. Thank you. So he, uh, uh, let's talk about the goes, significance of this, <laughs> okay, and we wanted to on. have you in. To talk I, I don't know if Father Roberts is going to call, or I should uh, try to call him, or what. History, this choice historically will be with this uh, pope is who is a, a Jesuit. Uh, right. Oh yeah, no, no, no. He's he's a legit Jesuit, but he also hosts uh, this week in Enterprise Tech on oh, the Twit Network. Nice. Uh, like his whole thing is is like they're trying to do outreach. Um, Essentially, his full-time job is to be cool and also a Jesuit, <laughs> just wow. to show that such a thing is possible. <laughs> huh. Nice. Uh, yeah, man. All right. Well, we'll see if he gives a call. I don't know if I'm logged in or not. Um, I, th I believe I am. It says it says so right here. Here, I'll try calling him. Padre, no. Father, no. Well, apparently, we're not friends. Oh, what Screw happens? Screw you, Father. What happens? So that there's you're that. going straight to hell, or that's that's true. All right. Well, basically, like uh, you know, the Diamond Club symbol is is you do you do you do this like boom like that. You got to have the 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 two inverted to make a diamond with your pads touching like yeah. this. So I have a shirt. Are there Diamond Club shirts I can buy? Oh yeah, there totally are. Are you kidding? We we sell we sell out of them every time we do them. Uh, right. So we need we in fact we need to have some that are like. More, oh, there we go. Padre SJ is can showing do, up. Can you do uh, Diamond Club like condoms, or is that like a risk factor then? No, well, I don't know. I mean, Remember we could the stick our logo on anything. You got a faulty one from China, and then all of a sudden there were like 90 little spiky hair kids. All right, what's your, like what's, your, what's, your, what's your Skype, Padre SJ? Uh, I'll, I'll look you up. Robert Balasser. Searching, searching, gonna call. Here, we go. No results. What? Diamond Club membership cards. Oh, yeah. Diamond Club membership cards, right? Yeah. Maybe uh, di uh, Diamond Club tattoos that we could sell. Well, let's just go get one tonight. What is the... There's a casino that's like the Diamond Club. Probably. There's right. also, there's 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 also, also a... There's also a uh, dance um, facility. I wonder if I have it. There's a there's a titty bar in uh, in uh, Atlanta called the Diamond Facility. Oh, so close, so I close. I said dance facility. But <laughs> the turning stone. Oh, look, <laughs> it's the diamond card. Yeah. Here, uh, hold that up to that. Wait, wait, wait. This one has the wait, is, that's a credit card. Make sure to show his number. No, yeah, no, it's casino. It's a casino I used to go to in upstate New York. It is pretty dope. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a problem amazing. with gambling, please call. <laughs> <laughs> 1 800 I got diamond so many me. of these things. That's 1 800 <laughs> Diamond Me. All right, let me see. How do I contact request? I went to a casino because it was 18 plus, so they didn't serve liquor, so you had to bring your own, which was always good. Bring your own. the BYOB casino. casino. Oh, casino? Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. We can oh, call. We're going to call Father Robert right now. I'm going to set up. Wow, this is amazing. This is Pink Floyd and the Bee Gees. Uh, hello, Rabbit Badger. Uh, we're we're going to have a, a little bit of a day attack. I want to introduce you to two of my friends. One of them you've met before, the other one you haven't met. Uh, both of them are up for an award. Now, wouldn't it be dandy if they won? Because dar doggone it, isn't it close? Super close. Super close. Totally uber mega close. Diamond level. Diamond level. All right. Level close. <laughs> <laughs> so. No, I can't, apparently, I can't call Padre SJ. Apparently, it won't go through. I don't know. All right. Well, regardless. All right. Let's start talking about you guys. Oh, try and like. Oh, here. Let me log in online, too. Sorry. Don't. Uh, blur, 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 blur. All right. NSFW Show 2.
Oh, wait. You weren't calling NSFW Show 1, were you? Should be just NSFW Show. Or you could try me. But she's yeah. here. <laughs> Video call. All right, I'm trying you again. Okay, what the heck? I'll go ahead and log in line three as well. What can it hurt at this point? All we're going to do is keep trying to reach you and get the story behind the story about that time that you flashed that symbol. Flashing gang signs on Fox News like a boss. Like a, a baller boss from the Vatican. All right. I've got all three lines. NSFW Show NSFW Show 2. Wait, Black Robe 28? Is, is that it? Really? Maybe I'm looking at the wrong place. <laughs> Robe 28. <laughs> Oh, there is Black Rope 28. That's that amazing. Way easier. <laughs> this wow. looks that sounds like a like an adult friend finder um, <laughs> profile that you'd have. I'm pretty sure that was my profile. But... That's amazing. That's awesome. I was calling your dad? No. Oh, no. Wait, really? Was that yeah, oh, oh Padre, Padre, I was sincerely calling your dad? I'm sure my dad appreciated that. <laughs> 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 you gotta be kidding me. That's amazing. All right, let me get you captured in here so we can bring you on. Uh, dude, how long ago did that happen? That was this morning. Uh, dude, okay, and did uh, did you threaten to, to drop the, uh, the the DC logo on there? Uh, well, the other day, uh, it was Delahanty who was saying, oh, God, I bet, I get, I bet Padre is not going to do anything Diamond Clubby on any of his appearances. And I said, no, I'll take that bet. Oh, dude, and, and did, did you lay out terms? Uh, no, no, I just said, you'll know it when you see it. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, so I want to play it right now because, like, you barely made the cut. Like, it almost didn't happen just because right. they weren't looking at you. And I could tell right now, uh, I could tell as you were saying it what you were setting up. Uh, and I know I know your fingers were in the air well, well beforehand. But check this out. So, so you're talking, uh, let's see, right around like, here. All right, they come from the Pope the to you. Oh yeah, God, they do. All right, here awesome. we go. Francis. We have... Francis Xavier, who was a Jesuit, the, the prototypical Jesuit, the quintessential Jesuit. He was a missionary who went out and changed the world with nothing more than his will and his wits. Then we have St. Francis of Assisi, who is the... Okay, now I'm assuming, like, we can't see it, but I'm assuming you're like, we've got this with this guy, and we've got uh, yeah, this yep. guy. So it's really a I, tale I, of, two, of, of two popes. I, I'm watching the monitor as they're doing this, and so I've got the fingers in the air. I'm like, "Oh, you gotta come back! You gotta come back! You gotta come back!" <laughs> so you're trying to stall until they until they come back, right? So you're totally ready. You got your guns blazing. The saint that the Pope has named himself after, and he was an ascetic. He pulled away from the world. He he believed in a a humble existence. This is so all vamping have, uh, because I need them to cut back. <laughs> So I am so, just adding stuff into the answer. This is amazing. So keep that symbol up. <laughs> All right, so you are you're such a troll, Father Robert. This is the best thing in the world. Okay, here we go. Saint Francis Xavier and Saint Francis of Assisi. These two different uh, dichotomy points that are okay. And so, oh man, you're clearly just treading water at this point. You're like, please, just just two turn back so I, so I can do it. <laughs> We've got point one and we've got point two. And if you'll show them, I will connect these things. <laughs> oh and there's this moment where I think I can see you, <laughs> that I can see you Coming smirking afterwards. To form what? <laughs> <laughs> there it That's is. Awesome. That's you clearly looking at That's the monitor, awesome. like totally getting it. And you're like, Wait, finally. Can you, play, can you play that cut again? I need right, to see right, that. Here, here we go. From the world. He believed in a, a humble existence. So you have uh, St. Francis Xavier and St. Francis of Assisi, these two different uh, dichotomy points that are coming together <laughs> to form what? <laughs> wow. Oh, th the, there it is. There's the boss smirk right there at the end. Hold on. When, when he gets, he gets that are coming together to form what Pope? <laughs> it's it's, it's the me. slight look over the monitor <laughs> after the That's form. Right there. It's like, right before. <laughs> That's it right there. <laughs> Oh, that's that's awesome. amazing. Was there was there anything that's after awesome. that that you did? Yeah, well, because I, uh, the, their monitor Black was smoke. lagging a little bit, so I wasn't quite sure if I got the, the, the symbol in there, so I threw it up one more time. Oh, shoot! Just, I didn't just to make sure. I didn't watch but, past that moment. Yeah, okay, so how much farther in was it? Uh, it's just like, it's like a, like, maybe 10 seconds. All right, here we go. This pope might want to lead the church, and I know it's after his first her. full day on the job, and that I'm asking you thousands of miles away, but what would you think uh, from, from the background of the man who is now pope? Well, I, I think the clues for his <laughs> here it comes. Really found in that, that dichotomy. <laughs> there it is! 
Like, it's not even subtle that time. <laughs> You're like, a question? I think this is the answer. <laughs> I was also, I was trying to frame it so my collar would be in the diamond, but I couldn't quite get the geometry <laughs> right. That's awesome. That's so good, man. It's, uh, all right, here, oh, so great. Clues for his reign are really found in that, that dichotomy that I talked about. Oh, oh I missed it. Oh, dude, no, no, no. We we need that to be an animated GIF in a big bad way. We need we need just you <laughs> rocking perfect. like this. Uh, from, just, from the background of the man who is now Pope. Just well, I, I think the clues for his reign are really found in that that dichotomy that I talked about. All right, here I'm gonna he do it one going more time be, so somebody uh, can guess, capture I mean, this and make it a GIF. Here we go. Of the man who is now Pope. Well, I, I think the clues for his reign are really found in that that dichotomy that I talked about. He is going to be uh, a Jesuit. I mean, so that's, good. that's how he grew up. Dude, you, see, it fits. When you make dichotomy, you actually use the symbol. It's like the Venn diagram symbol. So sure, that's, we all learned that in dichotomy class. Where, where, where That know, was totally in dichotomy 101. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome, man. Uh, so I yeah, okay. So let me ask so, since we got you on the line. And first of all, I do need to I do need to talk up. I'm hoping to build up a little bit of an audience because uh, I want to introduce my buddies. This is Eric Dittleman. You saw him on America's Got Talent. He was a semifinalist. He was Howard Stern's favorite uh, guy on the got whole thing. Skills. The man's got skills. There you go. Uh, this this is Daniel Martin, a longtime friend of the show. He was calling in way back in the BB Live Show days. Although uh, the episode you were on, Dan, all I, all I remember is the entire episode you were talking like this. Because your daughter was just like a few sleeping. feet away. Oh, you're like, and I'm gonna be in a life. Yeah, like, and it's so we're cracking up. You're like, <laughs> I know. That's, that's really funny, guys. <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, and you know, uh, actually, the yes. sad part. The sad part was his his wife had set off some thermite in the backyard. Oh, she dude, did. and so now got all drunk and and got in trouble. Yeah. Uh, but at any rate, uh, both of these guys, and I want to take just a moment to say this. Uh, they uh, what is it? Votefordanielmartin.com. Vote for Dan Martin. Mm -hmm. Vote for. Let me do this. Vote. Vote, vote for Dan Martin. Dot com. Uh, from what I understand, uh, it's down to a matter of like a hundred votes is how mm. close it is. So it's the kind of thing where like two votes, two hundred, two hundred votes. 200. Wait, so there's this many votes and this many votes, and if they came together, <laughs> then you'd have you, all you would win all the votes, yeah. right? Infinity you you votes. would have that dichotomy point with that's both. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And, uh, the dichotomy in that, in of that winning dichotomy and not is winning. the win. Right about there. <laughs> that is that is where the win is. Uh, so so the uh, if you guys could head on over to vote for Dan Martin. Also, while you're at it, uh, Dan Martin is down at the bottom right. for Entertainer of the Year. Right. Uh, Eric is where? Uh, somewhere in the middle for fastest rising star. Fastest rising yeah. star. I don't know how fast is rising to the semifinals of America's Got Talent. I mean, he's kind of tall right now. If you look in the frame. <laughs> well, he's he's rising right yes. in front of me. <laughs> Uh, all right. So w w while I've got you, Father Robert, how many how many calls are you getting? Like, first of all, you I know you're connected, okay? Because you definitely dropped the name of the Pope. You're like, ah, last time I was talking to Benny. Benny. Uh, <laughs> we I, yeah. I may have I may have had a little bit of uh, foreknowledge there, but we couldn't we couldn't admit any of that. I still can't. Alleg alleg allegedly, we had foreknowledge. Allegedly, the Jesuits had a pretty good idea that it was going to be a Jesuit pope. And allegedly, one who might have thought he was going to get a whole bunch of calls from media people all at once. Alleg theoretically, that kind of person may have cleared his schedule and maybe would have had press releases ready to go shortly after the name was announced. May have had a cheat sheet that was ready five hours before. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> It's that, possible. I, it's I, possible. I would imagine in that situation that you'd be ready. Have you met this guy? Have you met the new Pope? I have. And, I have. Uh, he's, he's a good man. He's yeah. uh, But you know what? He's so down to earth. He is crazy, crazy. I mean, that's his, his whole deal. His entire life has been you lead by example. So he actually led a province of Jesuits. So he was in charge of an entire region of, uh, of Jesuit activity. And he, and he used to, you know, do things like sleep on the floor and take the bus to work and wear really simple clothing and not demand excellent food in the house. It, it was just his way of saying, look, it, look at the people who live around us. If right. we're living better than them, we're failing them. Okay, but seriously, does he, does he watch NSFW show? That's what I need to know. Uh, he will in about a week. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And so did he did he did he seal the deal at the conclave by having Subway catered in as opposed to like a fancy Italian meal? No, actually, uh, there was a secret handshake that uh, they they did as, <laughs> oh, as they passed through the conclave. It was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so so how uh, he speaks English, right? Yeah, he does. 
And when you were saying that, uh, that that a lot of people speak English at the Vatican. English is the language of the Vatican. Now, he's going to have to wow. learn Italian because that's where that's he is. And uh, he, he knows Latin, but business is done in English. Right. That's, that's just one of those dirty secrets. So, uh, <laughs> like, how big a deal is this for you? Like, uh, and I'm just curious, like, like, uh, and I, and I don't, I don't mean this in like, uh, you're not going to all of a sudden making it rain because your, your candidate won the presidency or whatever, but you know, he's from your order. He's somebody, you know, personally, um, I, I, there has to be some kind of calculus in your head about what this means to have an increased access to the MF and Pope. <laughs> Believe it or not, Are you this is actually that? this is a bad thing for my order. Oh, uh, what? Uh, it, it, it's a, no, it's a mixed. Uh, I want someone, don't say bad thing because that will get me tossed out. It's a mixed it's, blessing. Mixed blessing. Okay, order. right. There, there, right. there is a downside for your order, is what you're saying. Right. So the upside is it's it's a Jesuit. So we we know who he is. We know what kind of formation he went through. Uh, yeah. We have Jesuits who know him. We're very good friends with him, and uh, we can count on him operating in a certain way. The bad part, and this is this is sort of uncharted territory for us. This is, it's always been theore uh, theoretical, and that is when you have a pope who High is profile. a member of your sure. religious order. Yeah. There's always that temptation where he can he feels like he's now your superior. Okay. Um, and there's also that feel that he doesn't want to show favoritism to your religious order. So he can actually do things adversely to your religious order in order to make it seem as if he's not showing you favor. Oh, what if you because... sleep on the floor? Does that help? <laughs> Go sleep on his floor. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah, so I guess I guess the thinking is like, uh, well, look, I can't show favorites. I can't look like I'm showing yep. favorites. Um, mm -hmm. Also, you know, your order goes under a, a, a intense scrutiny. Because uh, because you know you're you're his gang and for for many ways this is your coming out party for the Jesuits to there are a bunch of people who've never heard of a Jesuit before today, right? Right. Yeah. So my job actually so the job I really have it isn't twit, uh, it isn't trolling NSFW. It's <laughs> well, although we, the national, we we approve you know, of that of that of that job. I've been getting much better at it. I mean, I've learned from people <laughs> like Ben Franklin and and Delahanty. So you know that's where my job uh, training comes from. But. Um, no, my real job has been vocation promotion. So I'm trying to get people to enter my religious order. Right. And I can tell you already, him being pope is going to easily double to triple the number of the um, number of people who ask about the Society of Jesus, who ask about the Jesuits. Right. Now, uh, uh, man, I've, how can I phrase this in a way that you can answer politically? Um, is there some part of you that has a concern that – now that you got a bright, shiny new pope of Jesuits, that maybe it would be a little more fashionable to become a Jesuit, and that maybe people hypothetically might not be getting in for the right reasons. And is there some part of you that maybe would find, I don't want to say resentment, but a, an emotion that is conflicted about it? Uh, I, I would normally, I, I, that would Are be you, a okay, no, uh, you know what? Fact. I'm sorry. Uh, Bill Meeks just said it. Are you a hipster for Jesus? <laughs> That's the I am totally a hipster for Jesus. <laughs> I'll be wearing my, uh, my Birkenstocks any day now. <laughs> you, you're, you're, you're like, you're like, man, I was a Jesuit way before the Pope. Now the Pope's a Jesuit. Psh, you got all these posers. No, now I can say some, I can say things like, oh yeah, yeah. He joined the Franciscans, that other guy. Well, we can't all be Jesuits. <laughs> There's one Catholic laughing very hard right now <laughs> somewhere. Uh, uh, all right. Well, cool, man. Look, uh, we're, we're just going to BS for a little bit, <clears throat> uh, but you're welcome to hang with us. We're actually uh, about to shoot. Uh, uh, Eric came down and was on uh, scam. Do you want me to call you Diddleman or Eric? Oh, it doesn't matter. No. E Diddy? Sure. No, don't e -diddy. do that. Can we oh, call you E Diddy? I've, e -diddy. I've used that before. You have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. E guess what? It's that's E, it. e Diddles. It, it, it. All right, that's We're going to hack his Whatever. Twitter account and change his <laughs> name. Now. I, I, e -diddy. I, I, I want to say I'm, I'm totally watching your guests because they're going to be way more entertaining than you ever have been. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Thank you. There. It's about but time. But I, I do have I do have to run right now. I, I actually I have another thing in about mm. 7 minutes. Oh yes. No, um, I know. You're is balling. He having a good he's, he's very busy. I'll tell you what, man. Uh the uh, you you rack up one wish from Chat Realm for every time you drop one of these on there. And it's like, and then we'll have an episode where you could go command us to do good. Like like you get we're genies in a lamp for you. Can we change? You know who's next? <laughs> what, At three o'clock, it's Al Jazeera. Oh my God, oh, wow. <laughs> dude! You dropped the DC on Al, Al Jazeera. We're gonna lose our crap. This will be amazing. Can, I'm telling you, unlimited wishes, dude. You, you can make this happen. Can, can we convince the Pope to get uh, the the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel to do that between <laughs> God and Adam? <laughs> just, just go. Just go. <laughs> that would be amazing. <laughs>
<laughs> you creation of Adam has changed. Oh, I'll tell you what, man. You just laid it down, Padre SJ. You just, you just do a little do 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 the dichotomy. As we all know, it's a universal symbol for the dichotomy right. between these these things. And this will now be Alja Diamond. <laughs> <laughs> 